We're alive. I hope that I'm alive. Tell me if we're alive. Okay. I think I've got to start it now. I think we're live. Not heavy, yeah. <clears throat> Are we live? Yep. Yeah. Mabu, hi. Hello. Magandang gabi. I'm Albine. Welcome to Learning with Albine. Yes, and because we want to learn Tagalog. I can help you learn Tagalog. I can teach you Tagalog. Kumusta po kayo? Mabu, hi. Uh, Ohio, USA. Uh, magandang umaga sa inyo dyan. Uh, Pilipinas and what else? Any, where are you? Anywhere you are in the world, magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi. Yeah. Yes, okay, and I've got to start. Okay, and uh, let me start with problem statement. Yes, problem statement for tonight. And uh, listen very carefully for our problem statement. First question. What is a possible Tagalog conversation when talking about basketball? Okay. What words and phrases arise when talking about basketball league and playing position? Yes. And last question. What vocabulary words to remember and to use in your daily Tagalog practice? Magandang gabi, Bruce. Yes, there goes Bruce. Yes, there's Bruce with me here um, uh, being the student for tonight. And if you are a student, please comment down below. I will be waiting for your uh, highs and hellos and some questions. Right? Okay. Yeah, uh, there's Franco and Kelly. Hello, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay. Salamat nandito kayo. Yeah. Okay, mags magsimula na tayo. Let's start now. And uh, for the first part, listen very carefully. Because this is Tagalog conversation. So this is like mini-series of our uh, what uh, star of the story. right? Half Pinoy, yes. Half Filipino and half something. Kumusta ka dyan, uh, Franco? Kumusta ka dyan, Kelly? Uh, meron ba kayong kape? Okay. Sige na, mag-uminom tayo ng kape habang nag-aaral ng Tagalog. Okay, and listen very carefully for the dramatization of this uh, Tagalog conversation. Okay, let me start it. But yeah, of course, before we start, let me introduce our community, our channel. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> There you go, yay. And yes, and let me start it. Listen very carefully. Ang nakaraan. Nag-uusap ang magkaibigang sina Mars at Rico tungkol sa pag-eehersisyo. Sinabi ni Rico na wala siyang interes sa pag-eehersisyo pero naglalaro naman ito ng basketball. Si Mars naman ay hindi naglalaro ng basketball pero nanonood siya ng mga laban paminsan-minsan. Saan ka madalas maglaro ng basketball, pare? Dati ay doon sa bayan namin sa Bawan, Batangas. Pero, madalas akong nasa pangkat ng Poblacion dos. Noon yon yung mga panahong nasa mataas na paaralan pa ako. Noon, tuwing bakasyon sa eskwela ay lumalaban kami sa liga ng mga barangay. Ngayong dito na ako namamalagi sa Maynila, sumasali ako sa pangkat ng 
Engineering Faculty sa Universidad na pinagtatrabahuhan ko. Astig naman at ano ang pwesto mo kapag nasa court kayo? Shooting guard ako, pare, pero depende kung sino ang nasa koponan namin. Minsan ay sentro. There you go. And did you get that? And a short uh, conversation for tonight. But before we proceed, let me raise this uh, question. A short quiz for you if you, you understood uh, the flow of the story tonight. Let me change my screen for our uh, uh, question. Okay, quiz for tonight and let's do that here okay please try to answer the following question questions a lot uh, about one two or three okay question number one ano ang madalas na sinasalihan ng pangkat ni Rico noong nasa high school pa siya tuwing bakasyon sa eskwela second question Sa kasalukuyan, saan naglalaro ng basketball si Rico? And yes, third question, ano ang pwesto ni Rico sa court? Yeah. Please try to answer these questions, uh, Kelly and uh, Franco. Yes, and uh, as much as possible, answer it in Tagalog. But of course, in the translation, I leave it all to you. Yeah. Please uh, remember the questions. We will return to this later bruce are you doing okay yeah. yes and let's proceed with our uh tutorial for today and let's see what are those words and phrases that you gathered yes uh, on that conversation yes kakain ko ang counting dessert ano ang dessert ni kelly <laughs> mukang mm, masarap ang iyong dessert it sounds good your dessert sounds good uh, I wonder what that is. Cake, brownies, what else? What is? What are the possible desserts that you have? I'm guessing and I'm curious. Okay. Ang nakaraan. Ang naka I hope that. Oh, my monitor is not playing. It's not playing. <coughs> oh, it's, uh, am I okay, baby? Yeah. It looks like uh, <laughs> so looks like uh, I, I I didn't catch up my own presentation. <laughs> it's not playing. It looks like it's playing from the start. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go that let me start it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm lost. And this is enter full screen or oh, no? I I need to change pointer. Ang nakaraan, let me proceed. Yes, my my computer is playing on a delayed. <laughs> Okay, let me see that. Nag-uusap, let me proceed. Nag-uusap ang magkaibigang sina Mars at Rico tungkol sa pag e yeah. Sinabi ni Rico na wala siyang interes sa pag e pero naglalaro naman ito ng basketball. Si Mars naman ay hindi naglalaro ng basketball Pero nanonood siya ng mga laban paminsan-minsan. Okay. And in English, what does it mean? Or let me um, let me translate this word for word or phrase by phrase. Nag-uusap. Nag-uusap. So, nag-uusap means talking. Nag-uusap, talking. Who are those talking? Sino ang nag-uusap? Sina Mars at Rico. Sina Mars at Rico. So, magkaibigan. Magkaibigan. So, magkaibigan can mean two friends because in by context, it's Mars and Rico that are involved in the uh, conversation. So, two friends. Two friends, magkaibigan. Remember that, Bruce? Relationship, magkaibigan. Two friends. Okay. Uh, next, man sina tungkol tungkol okay so i didn't translate the word tungkol sa pag ehersisyo here <laughs> i missed that so i should have said in english we're talking about exercise or physical 
fitness. Okay, I miss this part. Don't call sapake her sister. It's all right. Next, next sentence. Sinabi ni Rico. Sinabi ni Rico means Rico told. Rico told. So who is the recipient of that telling? It's uh, ni Rico. Oh, again, I miss this one. It must be Sinabi ni Rico kay Mars. Rico told Mars. Let me edit. Let me edit that one. Rico told. Sinabi ni Rico kay Mars. Okay, na wala siyang interest. Okay, that's I I I I don't need to to translate the other one. And yes, let me do that. And this one, <laughs> technicals this time. So sinabi ni Rico kay Mars means Rico told Mars. Rico told Mars. Who said? Sino ang nagsabi? Si Rico. Kanino sinabi kay Mars. So the telling is from Rico. The recipient of the message or the story is Mars. Okay. And then, what is that? So na is a conjunction. Wala siyang interest. Wala siyang interest means no interest. He has no. He has no interest. Wala siyang interest. Uh, then another idea, uh, addition, additional information to that sentence. So connect it with sa, sa. Uh, uh, pag ejercicio, no interest in exercising or physical fitness. No interest in physical fitness. Pag ejercicio. So if you notice, the use of sa is as a preposition in Tagalog so can mean in in English although sa uh, is like a universal preposition in Tagalog so it can be preposition that when you mean in on or at in English right so interest sa pag ejercicio interest in physical fitness okay but pero Pero for but, naglalaro naman, naglalaro naman ito ng basketball. He plays basketball. He plays basketball. Naglalaro ito ng basketball. Ito here is that, uh, ito is a pronoun that uh, usually uh, can be used to an object. Ito, any kind of object. Itong cellphone, itong ball pen. Ito, itong ball pen. But in this regard, the ito here refers to a person. So that works uh, uh, okay also. Even if you, you are referring to a person, sometimes you say ito. But of course, uh, it's just okay to use ito here because uh, the person was mentioned previously. Uh, sinabi ni Rico. It's Rico. Naglalaro ito ng basketball. So that means ito refers to Rico. Rico. Okay. Well, now a little bit of uh, um, detailed explanation on the use of pronouns here. But don't get confused. Uh, ito can be a person also. Or sometimes yon is what they say uh, in casual conversation. Yeah. So Skelly says, Nature Valley biscuit, yay, cocoa almond, tahingi. <laughs> okay, let's proceed. Bruce, Bruce also has her dessert. Right, I cannot have my dessert. Let's do next. <laughs> si Mars, si Mars naman, Mars on the other hand, si Mars naman. The use of naman here means on the other hand. Si Mars naman, Mars on the other hand. Uh, what is it about? Hindi naglalaro. Hindi naglalaro. Does not play. Does not play. Hindi naglalaro ng basketball. Does not play basketball. Does not play basketball. And then another pero. Pero for but. He watches. He watches. Nanonood siya. Nanonood siya. What is that about? Uh, what is that thing? Uh, additional details to your statement. Nang, so connect it with nang, nang mga laban, paminsan-minsan. Mga laban, mga laban means the game, the game, the game, mga laban ref refers to the game. 
paminsan, minsan, or match, yeah, match the one player versus the other, or ma one team versus the other. So we call it laban, yes. Laban ni Manny Pacquiao, laban ng Ginebra uh, sa Pure Foods, something like that. So those are a kind of basketball teams in the Philippines. I don't know these days there's such thing as talk and text. Yes. Uh, team in the Philippines. Mars, on the other hand, uh, uh, what is si Mars naman. Okay, next. Uh, game, occasionally, paminsan, minsan. Paminsan, minsan for occasionally. Okay, let's proceed. I want to make it faster this time. And then uh, the title of this series is The Continuing Saga of Ahab Pinoy. Okay. Okay, so mga tauhan, of course, characters, we have Mars, isang half Pinoy, at pansamantalang nakatira sa apartment na tinutuluyan ni Rico. Yes, for uh, Kelly and Franco, I'm guessing that you already know how to translate this in English. Okay, let me translate it quickly. Uh, temporarily staying or living in Rico's in the apartment where Rico is also staying. Okay. And then Rico, guro sa isang universidad sa Maynila. Guro sa isang universidad sa Maynila. In English, teacher in a university in Manila. How's my sound, Bruce? Is yeah. It? Yeah, good, thank you. Yes, and yes, and to inspire you of our uh, content for tonight, basketball, a picture of basketball in the Philippines. Let me ask Franco, is basketball popular in your country? Because in the Philippines, basketball is so popular. And look at the setting here. Yes, we call it, yeah, if, if you know, plaza. Yes, there's a plaza in every town in the Philippines. And then always a basketball, uh, what do you call this? Ah, goal, 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 I think is what you call it, is ex does exist there in Plaza, uh, in every town in the Philippines. And then there's another, of course. And uh, sometimes if, uh, if the area is uh, away from the downtown, uh, uh, most of the time you find them in the alley. So even in the little uh, narrow alleyways in the Philippines, they put up, a basketball ring, th things like that. Is that the ring? Basketball ring is yes, where you shoot the ball. Yes, and that's the picture of the Philippines. And let's the and yes, by the way, yes, by the way, I'm Albine and I'm your teacher in Tagalog. If you are new in this channel, thank you very much for finding us. And we are on Instagram and on Facebook. And please go check our website also. Yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new in this channel. And yes, let's proceed learning Tagalog. Saan ka madalas maglaro ng basketball pare? Again, saan ka madalas maglaro ng basketball pare? In English, how do we want to translate this in English? So, where do you often play basketball? Pare. Okay. Well, let's do pare first. So pare is kind of a, a term of endearment in the, in among Filipinos, right? Especially um, brother brotherhood kind of relationship. So pare refers to your friend that you consider a brother, right? Close friend, uh, uh, technically pare. So I don't, I didn't, I didn't um, uh, translate pare in English anymore. Uh, in the past episodes, I was telling you that uh, pare can be equivalent to English people or American people saying dude or body. Yes, dude or body. Yes, and so let's just use pare that that pare in English. Saan ka madalas? Saan? Where do you? Where do you, saan ka? Madalas for often, and then maglaro means play or to play, maglaro. Uh, ng basketball, 
basketball maglaro ng basketball means often play uno play basketball maglaro ng basketball play basketball madalas for often madalas for often so the the way you say it in tagalog saan ka madalas maglaro ng basketball where do you often play basketball in english okay next next uh, line this is what rico said dati ay doon sa bayan namin sa bawan batangas okay take note of the pronunciation of batangas madalas akong nasa pangkat ng poblacion dos noon yon yung mga panahong nasa mataas na paaralan pa ako let's translate this in english word for word or phrase by phrase so dati dati the way you say i used to i used to so in in, in tagalog dati dati uh, in the past dati so doon this is how we say it in tagalog so it can be difficult to to translate this in english dati ay doon sa bayan namin i used to play in our town in our town the way you say in our town is sa bayan nam namin namin for our okay doon sa bayan namin specifically uh, doon means uh, there or in that place in that place our hometown the the way i'd like to translate the on here means in that place and then sabaya namin our hometown but in english you would simply say i used to play in our town specific town followed by specific town we call the place is bawan batangas bawan batangas so na uh, grammar wise the on is a uh, pronoun pronoun demonstrative pronoun i what i call the on is demonstrative demonstrative pronoun but uh, the on is second person uh, third person third person the on when you say third person not in your place not in my place somewhere uh, not somewhere away from us right the on so if it's in my place i call it dito dito and then if it's if i'm referring to your place dian dian and then we are referring to another place it's doon doon yes third person doon first person dito second person dian or dian third person doon so it's a place demonstrative pronoun doon sa bayan namin so in english you don't say that pronoun anyway and next madalas madalas means often times often times madalas and then uh mad often often times with the po uh, population to team madalas akong nasa pangkat nasa pangkat when you say with the so you're referring to the team yes so nasa nasa pangkat so you're referring to the team pangkat what the uh, team is that uh poblacion dos poblacion dos okay uh, and then next next uh, statement noon yon noon yon that was before that was before noon yon okay yon is another demonstrative pronoun so Ion is a uh, you don't have it's third person again it's not in you it's not in me ion that that because in english you say this this thing this thing and then i i would refer to that thing the one you're holding and then the third person is ion whereas in english you say this that and then referring to another one is also that third person so in tagalog uh, uh, these kinds of pronouns are very specific especially third person and second person okay noon yon that was before that was before iyon so another iyon which means that mga panahon nasa mataas na paaralan pa ako mga panahon the days the days 
mga panahon the the days nasa uh, i was i was in high school in high school when you when we say nasa mataas na paaralan mataas na paaralan means high school literally mataas means high paaralan for school those days mga panahon nasa mataas na paaralan i was in high school pa is a particle which uh, indicates that it was done or it was the time old time or uh, not referring to this current moment it passed it has passed pa article okay a call for i so i here in english next and yes let's uh, proceed rico what did rico say no on again no on because of course rico is referring to his experience right uh, when was that time he was playing basketball no on doing uh, uh, vacation sa eskwela ay lumalaban kami sa liga ng mga barangay repeat after me no on doing vacation sa eskwela ay lumalaban kami sa liga ng mga barangay okay so it means during during school break during school break no on so uh to wing when you mean during is here to wing to wing vacation for school break school break okay and then the way you say back then is that no on no on back then back then vacation sa eskwela school break lumalaban lumalaban is compete yes we compete lumalaban kami kami for we lumalaban kami we compete okay barangay league barangay league means liga ng mga barangay liga ng mga barangay liga for league okay okay and how are we doing uh, bruce are you doing okay yeah. okay my my monitor says i don't know if my my feed is a uh, real time yeah. maybe not yes i'm okay i think i need to proceed regardless of what i'm seeing on my screen here okay I don't I don't think that what I'm seeing is real real happening okay next ngayong okay repeat after me repeat after me ngayong dito na ako namamalagi sa Maynila sumasali ako sa pangkat ng engineering sa faculty sa in, sumasali ako sa pangkat ng engineering sa universidad na pinagtatrabahuhan ko that could be difficult because i have i, I was difficult myself okay let's do that in english ngayon ngayon means now ngayon now dito na uh, dito na ako namamalagi first let's let's understand what namamalagi first namamalagi means staying yes another way of saying namamalagi is just staying uh, also you can say nakatira instead of namamalagi ngayong dito na ako nakatira sa Maynila so another way of saying nakatira is namamalagi staying dito is here here so this is the way ngayong dito na ako namamalagi sa Maynila now that I'm staying here in Manila though if you would like to translate this in Tagalog in English to Tagalog literally you would say staying here in Manila but it's so wordy so you would not say here anymore now that I'm staying in Manila okay now sumasali means sumasali means i join or sumasali ako sumasali ako means i join and then uh, team you're talking about team sa pangkat pangkat ng engineering faculty so team of engineering uh, engineering faculty team yes. but of course in in uh, uh, th this day's uh, conversation tagalog uh, people especially manila people 
Uh, most of the time, they speak in Taglish, so they don't say the word pangkat anymore. So instead, they say team. Let's do Taglish here. Uh, ngayong dito na ako namamalagi sa Manila, sumasali ako sa team ng engineering faculty. So that's how uh, people most likely would say that. They don't say the word pangkat anymore. But because you want to learn Tagalog and we want to to preserve the word and uh, hope that people would remember the word pangkat so it which means team instead of english here okay next sa universidad of course universidad is just a derived word so we say university in english right now this could be tri tricky pinagtatrabahuhan pinagtatrabahuhan the place where i work the place where I work, pinagtatrabahuhan. So the root word for this is trabaho. The trabaho as a noun, uh, you apply prefixes, it would be pinagtatrabahuhan. So if I would say, uh, what is the infinitive um, verb for trabaho? Uh, what is it? Tra trabahuhin. Yes, I think. Or trabaho. Pinagtatrabahuhan. Yes, it can be tricky. So in in verb trabahuhin is the in is the infinitive form of this kind of verb. Pinagtatrabahuhan, referring to the place, and then convert it into a verb. It has turned into pinagtatrabahuhan. Ko for the my work in in uh, in other words but in this case it's so tricky to say my work so the easiest translation to pinagtatrabahuhan ko is the place where i work the place where i work yay let's proceed and this is what mars said astig naman astig naman so, and then uh, more at ano ang pwesto mo kapag nasa court kayo? Let's let's repeat that. Astig naman. At ano ang pwesto mo kapag nasa court kayo? Okay. So what does it mean in English? When when people say in uh, Filipino say astig naman, it means that's cool, that's cool. Astig naman. At ano ang pwesto mo? And what is your playing position? Playing position for puesto. At ano? And what is your playing position? Ano ang puesto mo? Kapag. Kapag for when. Nasa court kayo. Means you're in the court. You're in the court. So you see, uh, we, say the, we say the place first before the pronoun. In English, you say the pronoun first before the place. Did you notice that? Okay, let's proceed. And this one. This is what my, uh, Rico's reply was. Okay, Shooting guard ako, pare. Pero depende kung sino ang nasa koponan namin. Okay. Minsan ay centro. Uh, okay, repeat after me. Shooting, uh, shooting guard ako, pare. Pero depende kung sino ang nasa koponan namin. Minsan ay centro. Let's study that. How do you want to say that in English? Or what is the meaning? Not really. I take the shooting guard. Shooting guard ako. I take the shooting guard. So it's really so awkward to say, to translate this in, uh, word for word. So in English you say, I take, although take, I didn't say that in Tagalog, the word take. Shooting guard ako is uh, really means, just means I take the shooting guard. And then pare, of course, it, it can mean dude or uh, buddy or friend, things like that. And then pero, again, pero for but, depende, depende, it, when you say it depends, it depends who. It depends on who. Depende kung. So that means the way we use kung here is the way you use on in English. Depende kung. Okay. But maybe it shouldn't be 
uh, on here if kung um, grammar wise again kung is just a conjunction conjunction so depende depende depends on right? the way you say depends on and then followed by a conjunction kung and then sino sino for who who ang nasa koponan so koponan means team also instead of saying pangkat so koponan is also another word to say that and uh, instead of saying team you may say koponan okay and but in english i didn't say team here but who plays with us who plays with us right so ang nasa kung sino ang nasa koponan nasa koponan people who are uh, part of the team nasa koponan that is what it means by nasa koponan again people who are part of the team or people who are part of our team our for namin our team nasa koponan okay next sometimes sometimes for minsan minsan centro centro is center minsan ay nasa minsan ay centro minsan ay centro or you can also say minsan ay nasa centro but it can be bad when you say nasa here centro is just okay minsan ay centro okay so uh, we are talking he is talking about uh, several or a couple of playing positions so sometimes shooting guard and then uh, there are times he takes center okay next and i think that's our line those are our lines for today and we will continue next meeting uh, what i mean is that the story the conversation will be uh, what followed w more conversation will follow later but please don't go yet because there are other uh, announcements and other uh, what reminders for you yeah. okay and and thank you for being here and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new in this channel subscribe and please hit the like button thumbs up please yes and let's do that and yes this is our uh, exercise for tonight yes for this episode please answer my questions yes and let's do that yeah i have been translating it in english and then of course i'm concerned of your uh, listening skills or reading comprehension this time because you already read the story uh, in text right okay first question again ano ang madalas na sinasalihan ng pangkat ni rico noong nasa high school pa siya tuwing vacation sa eskwela and i leave it to you translation uh, if not uh, email me if and i would maybe i would uh, send you english translation to this question but i challenge people especially like kelly or franco who were here with me uh, to uh, understand the question and please uh, submit your answers in uh, in tagalog sentence as an exercise next sa kasalukuyan sa kasalukuyan saan naglalaro ng basketball si rico Okay, that's question number two. Next, ano ang pwesto ni Rico sa court? Yeah. Next, and the, that is our qu uh, quiz. I encourage you to uh, please engage with me by answering these questions. And you can also leave your answers down there at the comment section. Yeah. And if you are watching me on replay, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Please, uh, share your thoughts and uh, what did you gather for me from me yes and thank you thank you so much maraming salamat lolo bit of switzerland thank you for your support yes and please be like lolo bit also and there's the um, link in the description saying contribute now so that you get mentioned next month like lolo bit please help us support this channel and also and there are other ways other than uh, uh, contribute now also you can also uh, look 
our merchandise yes and this is the link please take note of the link uh, you c either you buy some stuff so some but some things be delivered to your doorsteps right okay let's proceed vocabulary for your vocabulary building or vocabulario bruce are you doing okay yep <laughs> okay no question bruce yep. okay vocabulario okay first madalas madalas what does madalas mean madalas means frequent or often so it means it's an adverb madalas is an adverb second word madalang 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 is an adverb also which means rarely or seldom madalang madalas maglaro ng basketball madalang maglaro ng basketball Okay. Bihira. Bihira means rarely or seldom. Yes. Bihira maglaro ng basketball. Okay. Next, paminsan minsan. Paminsan minsan means occasionally. And then of course there's also minsan which means some, sometimes, sometimes. Remember these adverbs. Ad we call this as a group. We call it a uh, adverb of frequency. Okay. Next and phrases let's do phrases now doon sa bayan namin so he, again i like to emphasize this phrase doon means that place that place our hometown he literally if you want to understand this phrase doon sa bayan namin that place our hometown so just get used to say this doon sa bayan namin and most likely uh, you would always uh, hear this to Filipino from Filipino locals okay next noong noong estudyante pa ako sa high school noong estudyante pa ako sa high school literally it means that time noon noon that time when I was still a high school student so noong estudyante and then student high school for HS high school pa because uh, this moment he is not anymore a student so it has happened in the past so you use you use uh, pa uh, uh, particle yes particle pa uh, noong estudyante ako sa high school that's all right but pa helps to emphasize that the event or the state event has is in the past already it, it's it's past it's already it was already a history okay next noong another way to say that noong nasa high school pa ako noong nasa high school pa ako so you didn't mention the word estudiante you didn't mention the word estudiante next so same meaning when you say that time when i was still a high school student Noong nasa mataas na paaralan pa ako is another way to say that although mataas na paaralan is kind of a uh, very formal uh, translation to the the context right because literally mataas is high mataas high paaralan for school so mataas na paaralan this can be a formal phrase and then if you are using this in if people in the, the natives uh, is speaking this it can be awkward for people saying mataas na paaralan uh, most likely people will just say high school so that's why i've got to 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 spell high school the way filipinos spell it high school this way because of course high is an english term so we borrowed high school we can just spell it this way high school it's the way filipinos uh, use the sound of the way filipinos apply sounds to a consonant is the way we write the word uh, borrowed word here high school yay my wall tapestry came in the mail today ang ganda naman lalo na in real thank you so much kelly for that kelly got an, uh, one item mm -hmm. thank you so much and i think kelly you also got the pillow and lara 
Lara Christine, salamat po, salamat din for being here. How are you doing? Um, have we met before? Yes, kumusta ka? And yes, let me remind you that we have premium classes, premium classes. Please sign up, sign up if you want uh, fluency in Tagalog. I will be able to help you and I wish to hold you, to hold your hand in your Tagalog journey. There's the link in the description below. Kumusta ka, Lara? Where are you? Where are you watching me from? Saan kayo ngayon? Uh, nanonood. Saan kayo nanonood? Yes. And yes, these are the details of our premium classes. I don't need to say it one by one. Please read them. <laughs> okay. And yes, soon is still in the making on-demand premium courses. And let's do that and wrap up now. Wrap up. Christine. Tama po, I bought the medium pillow, pero is still waiting. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Thank you for that, Kelly. Uh, oh, maybe later. I will just message you in private. Yeah, I, I will talk to you in private. Yay. Uh, Lara Christine is in Korea. Maraming salamat, Lara Christine. You are here. Um, what is your primary language? Are you... Uh, do you wish to learn Tagalog or are you a Filipino? <laughs> if you are a Filipino, you don't need uh, lessons on Tagalog, but please uh, stay with us also. Maybe you will help uh, people learn Tagalog also. I think I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> Kelly and Lara, they follow each other on Instagram. And yes, and I'm happy that you are here with me tonight. And I don't have much, our lesson is done, and I would like to say that uh, tomorrow I will be offline, maybe. I will avoid, uh, I will avoid social media offline because we will be on the road. And I will see you, I will be back uh, working on Tuesday, and of course with regards to Saturday coaching call, hi Franco, I will miss you tomorrow, but on October, first Saturday of October. Let's see each other again. Magkita tayong muli. And let me say this wrap up. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, close now our session for tonight by saying I presented a possible Tagalog conversation about basketball. Okay. Next, you learned some words and phrases regarding basketball league and playing positions and third and finally we are given vocabulary words to remember and to use in your daily tagalog practice and yes and there are other more videos uh, old videos of mine if you just got in especially uh, lara and thank you again and uh, please find time to watch my old videos and i will see you again also same time same day next week yay thank you hi noah <laughs> noah is here with me magandang gabi bruce magandang uh, and gabi. magandang gabi any anything from you want to say to our audience thank you thank you so much and i'm sending love healing joy protection light your way Maraming salamat po. Magkita tayo muli. Okay.